Hi there, it's Jennifer. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm here to do a favorites video for the month of November, and I have not done a favorites video in months. I was getting to the point over the summer where when I was thinking each month, what are my favorites, I had to think really hard. <laughs> and I thought, you know, if I have to think that hard to come up with something that's a favorite, it's probably not that much of a favorite. But in the last month, I really have been using a few things that I think, you know, I really like this. I'm so glad I have this. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me, Jennifer, do a favorites video. So I am going to do a favorites video here and I have three products to share with you. Um, the first one, well, two of them are eyeshadows. So the first one is one that I got in an Ipsy bag a while back and I didn't even use it right away because I wasn't really sure what to do with it. It's an eyeshadow by Pacifica and the shade of this eyeshadow is ethereal. It is, it looks kind of like a tan. Um, I'll pop you in a picture so you can see this better. Um, it is very, very, very light. Let me see if I can, can, can you see that right there? Um, really light and I thought what am I supposed to do with this? Well what I've been doing with it is using it as a highlighter um, just under my brow bone and also I put it in the corners of my eyes and with some of my palettes um, if I if there aren't really light light colors in there I'll use it right on the lower part of my lid and then I go use some darker colors um, for the rest of my eyeshadow look but if I want something really, really light, then I'll use this. It is great, I've already hit pan. I still have quite a bit of it left, but I've hit pan in a couple of places. Um, I really recommend this, and when I'm finished with it, I'm getting another one, because this is great. And um, particularly good if you have a palette that maybe has some really great shades in it, but doesn't have a light thing, so then you can use this first and then you know go on to another palette. So speaking of palettes, just this past month, I got a palette, an eyeshadow palette that I am loving. It is by Tarte, and it is called Tartlet. The Tartlet palette, spelled T-A-R-T-E-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. I had sort of sworn off palettes. I have several of them, and I'd swore them off because I, I realized that so often I use some of the shadows, I, some of them I'm just not gonna touch at all, some of them are way too dark, and I end up wasting a lot of product because there are so many things that I'm not going to get. So I thought, well, I'm going to swear off big palettes and just get like littler ones and things like that. But then I found this and it looked so great that I had to get it. And I was hoping, hoping and hoping when I bought it that it wouldn't end up having some shades I wouldn't use. You know, because sometimes when you look, especially when you're, you know, online shopping, um, which is what I do most often, sometimes you you can't really decipher the colors. Um, what drew me to this is that uh, it was kind of a neutral palette and all of the shades are matte. As you guys know, um, I hate the crepey skin on my eyelids that I have been getting since I've been getting older and I, I just think that anything shimmery draws attention to that so I really limit myself to using shimmer on the lower lid. So. Without um, going on anymore about all of that, let me just say that this is a beautiful palette and I will pop in a picture so you can see it. The really great thing about it is that the colors in each row all go together. I get so confused when I get a palette that just kind of starts with the light colors and goes to the dark and now I gotta figure out what, what, what yeah. Um, so with this, it's a no brainer, you guys. These all go together. This is the one that you use like here. I don't want to blind you with this mirror, but these light ones over here, those are the ones that you use either um, you know, to highlight your brow or to put on the very lower part of your lid. The next one over is the one that you kind of put for the major color um, of shadow. The next one is a crease color, and then this dark one um, in each row is one that you can put around where your eyeliner is or would be if you want to use that in place of eyeliner. Um, one row is kind of um, subtle browns. The next one is sort of pinks and purples, um, but very subtle. And, and they, when you put them on, they have a little bit of a warm earthiness to them, not just pink or purple. And then the bottom one is browns again, but they're more kind of uh, in the taupe family, like a little bit of grays mixed in with them. 
I love this palette. I have been using this palette pretty much every single day. I've used every um, row of colors. I love all of them. So highly recommend this. Uh, and uh, you can get it at Ulta and Ulta.com. Uh, okay, and the last thing is, um, I've had this a while. I've had this for well over a year, probably a year and a half. This is a product by Guerlain. Guerlain is spelled G-U-E-R-L-A-I-N, and it's called Meteorites Pearls of Light. Now, when you open this up, you'll see that there are these little pearls in here. I'll snap a picture so you can see it close up. The pearls are different colors. They're like lavender, white, yellow, kind of a mauve color. And um, they are basically pearls of powder. So you take a brush and you kind of swirl it around in here and then put it on your face. You can just slap it on you and you have to look in the mirror when you put it on. Um, but it's really very much like, I've heard it compared to the uh, hourglass ambient lighting, those little um, palette things that you put on. It's supposed to kind of blur. Um, imperfections on your face so like I have um, kind of heavy wrinkles on my forehead um, some around my mouth and then on my neck and so after I put on my makeup I'll take this and kind of just put it in those areas and it kind of just you know blends it all in so that your lines aren't as noticeable as they might otherwise be um, this is oh gosh how much does it cost I think you can get it anywhere between 35 and 40 something dollars. I bought mine on Amazon. You can go to the Girl On website too. Um, I happened to find a really good deal on this. It was like a package of two and it made it come to $33 or something, but that was a while back. The great thing is I have been using this for well over a year. Um, yeah, maybe a year and a half. And I still have a bunch of pearls in here. And um, so I, I haven't even cracked into the second one of these. This one's probably gonna last me two years or more. So to pay $45 even for something like this, it's a great deal. Um, so I love this. It just adds just, it kind of has little tiny, almost not even noticeable, but sort of little uh, shimmery things in it. And um, it's just a beautiful kind of a finishing um, kind of a finishing powder to put on your face. Okay, they have different colors. They're numbered one, two, three, and four. Um, this one's two. But number one is called Blanc de Pearl. It's really, really light. If you look at the, the picture of it, it's got a lot more of the white little pearls in it. Um, and so it's super light. I probably would not get that for myself because I would feel like it would be too noticeably washing out my skin. I mean, I have very light skin tone, um, but it would be too light for me, I think. This is number two, it's called Claire, and um, it is a really nice shade for my skin. Um, I am thinking though about getting the number three because this does, sometimes if I put it on, it will way, way, way tone down um, my blush or whatever, and so to get one that doesn't wash the color out as much, I might go for the next one. Um, the number three is just called Medium, and, um, and so it has, I'm, I'm bringing some stuff up on my computer so I can see, it's got a lot more peachy tones it looks like and a lot fewer of the white powder pearls in it. And then the number four, which is called, what is it called, Dore, D-O-R-E with an accent. That one, I've, I've read that people describe it as being more like a blush and that it wouldn't be something that you would just, you know, sweep over your face. It's got browns in it even. So it's sort of like, um, it's got browns and some darker pink colors. So it's sort of like, um, kind of like a mix between a blush and a bronzer, I would say. But really nice, I love this product. And um, yeah, if you're looking for, some, for a really good finishing powder and something that does sort of the same thing that the Hourglass Ambient Lighting does, but actually for the amount of product you get, it ends up being cheaper than, um, ounce for ounce, it ends up being cheaper than the Hourglass product. So those are my favorites for the month of November. If you have anything that you have been loving for the last month or so, love to hear about that. So if you would comment in the space below, I'm sure we'd all love to see that. Um, if you're not currently subscribed to my channel, hit the button, YouTube will let you know when I um, upload new videos, which is several times a week. So I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope I will see you again on Busy Being Jen. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.